Hi friends, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you'll enjoy my videos and if you do, please hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Jed. I am an international student, zero-based budgeter and cash stuffer here in Canada. So for today's video, we are going to cash stuff our July paycheck too for variable expenses and sinking funds. A few disclaimer for this video, we are actually filming on the floor. We just moved into our new apartment and I have not set up my corner for filming yet. So we'll have to do what we have right now. Second is I am currently testing a new microphone for my videos. So please bear with me. I don't know if it is actually better than what I used to use. But if you hear background noises and whatnot, I'm so sorry. Please bear with that. So we'll figure out if this is better in, <laughs> by the end of the video. Third is, I don't know the total of how much we will cash stuff today. So in totality, this video <laughs> is going to be a mess. So um, I'm so sorry. Please bear with me. But I hope you'll still like it. And um, tune in with this video. So let's start and count our cash for today. We do have a couple of coins. So actually with our variable expenses, I, I've already spent some categories because I am filming this video a little later than what I expected to. So yes, yeah, some categories have already um spent from on so for today we have let me just fix our cash 51 20 40 60 80 92 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 oh gosh 65 70 90, 100, uh, 200, and 10. 210, then we have 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 217 to cash stuff today. I believe we do have $10 here from our rollover last time. Um, if it's not a rollover, I found it somewhere in my bag. So we will set that aside. And we will do something uh, with that money later on. And I will put the coins together with it. So, I... Yeah, I don't have a setup yet here in our new apartment. So, but I do want to film this and like be on schedule. So, I hope you'll bear with me <laughs> doing this wherever I can. Right, even my money is such a mess. Okay, okay, I think that will do, guys. So let's start with our variable expenses. Last month, I did not pull the money for our variable expenses because I usually just use our card and then pay off what is used in the card. But for this month, I am trying to do a cash only system wherein we will use solely cash for all our expenses except for our automated bills and whatnot so just so i will know if we can actually control our expenses better when we are using cash or things like that so i don't have a binder for that yet but i'm gonna use some of my old envelopes here just so i can separate the categories and won't get confused um, actually, so the first category is groceries. I already have it here and we've already spent from it, I think, last, the other day. So we, we budgeted 100 for groceries and I spent $12, so we still have 87 here left. Let's just double check. Um, oh, okay, this is not 87. 87 plus my daughter's daycare payment which is $20. So that is one, I mean 50, 110, 
and 112. That's what we have here. Okay, set this aside. Next is our, so personal, my personal allowance, but I don't have that anymore. Right before filming this video, I spent it all. I give myself 50 every paycheck, but I use my allowance for this paycheck to buy the mic that I'm trying right now and the screen protector for my phone. So no more allowance for me. Next would be my, so dad and baby, they each get 25 per paycheck. But for dad, he spent $10 on his allowance, so he'll only get 15 15 left. Okay. And then on the other side would be my baby's allowance, which is 25 If we don't use this allowance for my baby because, well, she doesn't spend on her own yet, I put it on her sinking fund, which is for her diapers and other needs. Okay. Next, eating out and family fun. Each gets 50. For eating out, I think we spent $8 today. So, family fun gets 50. And eating out gets 42. So that is where the two dollars will come. And here, that was our change earlier. Okay. Last is miscellaneous. So miscellaneous gets fifty. And if we don't get to use this money, we're gonna put it on our household sinking fund, or just keep it here and let it accumulate for. You know future needs so that is all our variable expenses now let's go to our sinking funds so another exciting thing is i tried to buy vellum vellum envelopes i found home the brand um renee from instagram and um, I checked out her Etsy shop and I couldn't resist to try and buy her vellum envelopes, which are so pretty. I only bought three for the first time just to check it out. And now that I have them, I actually want to replace all of my envelopes. So I need to save my next allowance so that I'll be able to buy those next set. So here's the first one. You see, guys? Um, I only have three, so I chose Christmas, month ahead, and self-care. Okay, so Christmas for this paycheck will get 20, and now it has 40. Important, this is our Canada fund that we set up last budget with me, and this will get 20. I hope next time we get like we already have all the pretty envelopes with the label time to shop is our clothes fund so it gets 30 for this page and we just started this also so that's all that it has 30 month ahead is going to get 20 today all right so now it has 40 one month ahead car will get 20 am I doing this right guys oh sorry not 20 but 5 oh 10 goodness car will just get 10 today so that will that totals to 30 in our car fund and the rest would be five. So my baby will get five on her sinking fund. Family will get five. Now it has 15. Fun will also get five. It now has 15. Self 
scare with a pretty envelope. We'll get five today. Okay. And I think household. Oh, I think I missed something here. So household should get this remaining five. Am I right? I think I'm missing something, guys. Let me double check. Okay, I figured it out. So I actually put over like five dollars over in our grocery grocery fund. So I had to like change change the bills there. So where were we? Now household would be the last category and it gets the last five dollars from our budget. And now it has fifteen dollars. Okay, so that is it. Now for the remaining amount here that we have which is 10 12 13 14 15 dollars we are actually going to start our 100 envelope savings challenge i also got this from hone the brand um and this is like my first ever savings challenge with tracker <laughs> i used to just also diy and draw my own trackers so yeah, I'm quite happy that I already have like an actual tracker that is laminated and I can use it again and again. So we are going to stuff it for the first time. And let me just get a marker. All right, $15. I don't want to put it on just one envelope here. So let me try to divide it. Maybe at least three envelopes we can do. Uh huh. Oh, by the way, this three dollars is from our budget with me left over. If you guys watch that and remember, we have a three dollar left over there. Two dollars is actually the change from my allowance. So I spent out of fifty, I spent forty eight. So that is it, and this is the money that I found somewhere in my bag. <laughs> so we have fifteen. Now what I want to do, oh, I probably. Um, I don't know actually. So maybe we can put six and four for ten. So we can put two envelopes. Color. This is not registering properly. Maybe I need to change my marker next time. And then for the five dollars, yeah, we'll just color two and three. Okay, there you go. You can't see it properly, but I'll fix it for next time, guys. And we're going to put it here, the very back of our binder. Okay. So we don't we don't have a goal or a target for this um, challenge yet. We'll see once we get to complete it. Hopefully, we get to complete it by end of the year, and then we'll decide where we will put this money on maybe divide it on our priority funds or do something entirely different for it so that is the end of our cash stuffing for today um thank you so much for watching again i hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos and i'll see you again next time bye